Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No No Films and today I'm going to be covering the latest iMovie update that was just released, uh, iMovie 10.1.5 well it wasn't really just released, it, uh, I would say probably a week ago now but since it's been out for a week there have been actually one minor issue that was found with it so when you update uh, keep going with caution and uh, this video is going to show you guys how to update exactly and what the update itself also includes and I'm going to show you guys a minor uh, article as well regarding the Apple uh, App Store. So let's go ahead and uh, launch our App Store here. If you go to your far right most tab, uh, updates tab, uh, you'll have iMovie and uh, I already updated it so I don't have the update option here but you'll see the option right here to your right hand side. Uh, the update fixes an issue where you could add red tint to video imported from the camcorder and it also addresses uh, issues which prevented some videos uh, shot on the iPhone from appearing on your import window as well. Um, now let's go ahead and I wanted to cover this quick little issue here which was iMovie. This was a question posted in the uh, Apple discussions. Um, you'll be able to find them and I'll have a link in the description for you as well. But uh, iMovie 10.1.5 upgrade breaks photos import. Uh, he's basically saying that when he imported uh, the all his images went to black and uh, what ended up happening through the replies down here uh, Tom actually helped him out and he actually mentioned that he he has not had any issues on iMovie 10.1.5. So, um, also, uh, Rich, well, no, no, so this guy's Tom. <laughs> I'm getting it confused here. Don't don't listen to my names. But the the initial reply is that uh, he I think he gets it resolved. Well, no, 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 he doesn't get it resolved. So the Tom ended up going back and replying that. Uh, he found some old iPhone 5 images that he had in there that were in the mix of his current images and that might have been part of the issue but uh, it sounds like it's still an ongoing issue if you guys see um, I'm not sure if it's resolved yet I didn't quite read through it all but that is an issue to keep in mind when you are upgrading them. Last but not least I do want to mention that Apple has made all the iWork apps for Mac and iOS free and that is as of two days ago so if you go to your app store and you go ahead and let's say you go to your top charts here I'm going to go to the GarageBand app and I'm just going to actually let's go to more by Apple and these are going to be all the apps by Apple. You'll notice that iMovie now is for free. You can get it uh, numbers for free, Keynote for free, uh, uh, like some of these other ones like Final Cut Pro you'll still gonna have to pay for them and Motion as well. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. That's it for this update. Be sure to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys. I'll catch you guys next video and later. So let my Love